Hey friend, welcome back and happy new year. We made it through another year of the pandemic. Stinking wild if you ask me. So I did wanna do a roundup video talking about the best zero waste swaps I tried this past year. I'll have the links down below in the description. Also I moved, I haven't fully unpacked everything yet, but we're getting there. So content will be coming soon. Let's start off with number one. The Leaf Shave Twig Razor. If you don't know what Leaf Shave is, they make reusable metal safety razors, but with a twist. I will say the twig is better if you have more sensitive skin and it gets into all the nooks and crannies and those hard to reach areas. If you wanna see the full review of the Twig Razor, I will have that link down below in the description as well. Highly recommend it, I've been a big fan. And mine is in like the rose gold finish and it just looks schnazzy and so fancy in my shower. So yeah, I'm a big fan for sure. Number two, which you guys have heard me talk about all the time is Hey Humans Toothpaste. Hey Humans was founded by Jada Pinkett Smith. I think everything is like under $6 and it's all available at Target and everything comes in pretty much aluminum or paper packaging. There are a few lids or caps that might come in plastic, but they are recycled plastic. So many zero waste swaps and sustainable alternatives are a little bit pricier. And that's why I love Hey Humans. Everything is so much cheaper than the other sustainable alternatives. Let's start off with the packaging. The packaging is aluminum. It's an aluminum tube. So when you're done, you cut it open, you clean it all out, and then you can recycle it. it tastes and has the same sort of flavor as conventional toothpaste. A lot of zero waste toothpaste are not strong enough for me. I want that strong, cool blast of mint flavor. If you like that flavor, that taste of conventional toothpaste, please try Hey Humans. And if you guys have tried Hey Humans and you like it, let everyone know in the comments. I've talked about this with so many different people, but Hey Humans, is the way to go. And they have fluoride and fluoride free versions. So it is the best of both worlds. And my favorite is the one in the blue tube. I forget what it's called. There's a green tube and a blue tube. The flavor I like is the blue tube. Highly recommend. So number three is Kinship, which is a sustainable skincare company. And I love their super mellow face moisturizer and their sunscreen. It works super well with my skin. I will say with any zinc oxide, this is like a zinc oxide sunscreen. With any zinc oxide sunscreen, I've seen a slight slight, slight tint of a little whiteness on the skin. So that is something to keep in mind. Obviously, I am very pale white skin. So I am not the best person to ask if you have brown or black skin. I am just, I'm not gonna be a good option. I will say I notice a little bit on my skin. So that's something to keep in mind, but it blends in quite well for me. They use a lot of post-consumer recycled plastics to make their containers and bottles for their skincare on the super mellow product. They have a QR code label slash sticker. You use the QR code with your smartphone and you can actually see where the plastic is coming from. They use 50% post-consumer ocean plastic waste. So they get plastic from the ocean and use that to make the container, which is so stinking cool. Are they like the most perfect sustainable company out there? No, but I think they're doing a lot more than a lot of skincare companies out there. So that is something to keep in mind. And yeah, I've been a huge fan of them this year for sure. Number four is plain products and specifically their lotion. If you guys don't know, I made an entire review video reviewing a ton of different zero waste lotion. I just love this lotion. So when I'm looking for a lotion, I'm looking for something that is super lightweight and that soaks into the skin immediately, pretty much. Like, I just don't wanna feel it throughout the day. If I'm putting something on at night, it doesn't really matter as much. I really don't care if it feels greasy or if it's really thick and rich. Like, that's a good thing at night for me. But during the day, it's gotta be light. It's gotta soak into the skin. And it's that time of the year right now when it's winter and skin gets a little cracked, a little drier than in some other months. So I have been loving Plain Products Lotion. So why I love this company in general, besides the formulation of the lotion itself, 
Everything comes in aluminum bottles and they have a circular system, a refill system. So if you have a bottle and you get through all of the product inside of it, you can actually send it back to Plain Products and they will refill it and send it back to you. So they have this circular design, this circular system where their bottles are not going to waste. So they don't refill the little tiny travel sizes, but they do refill the large 16 ounce bottle sizes. It's the same size as like their shampoo and conditioners that they have. Highly recommend Plain Products. If you do wanna see more zero waste lotions, I'll leave the link to the video down below. I will definitely be repurchasing the Plain Products lotion. Number five is Swedish dish cloths. Some people love it, some people hate it. So I decided to give it a try this year and I'm so glad I did. I'm obsessed with Swedish dish cloths. A Swedish dish cloth is basically kind of a mix of a towel, a dish cloth, even a paper towel and a sponge. And you can wash them in your dishwasher or you can put them in your washing machine. So you can constantly clean them and they're made of plant cellulose. So they are compostable at the end of their life, which is so cool. And it's so soft and gentle on pots and pans. I have the Always Pan from our place and it has a non-stick coating. It's non-toxic. I love this thing. I could do a review of this later on if you guys are interested. So let me know if you want a review of the Our Place Always Pan. I really, really like it, but you can't use like brushes or anything on it because it'll scratch off the coating that's there. So I've been using the Swedish dishcloths and it's been fabulous for the pan. I just love the Swedish dishcloths. I could not live without it these days. So it is definitely a great swap and it's available at so many different shops. Number six is Dove Refillable Deodorant. Now I have a love-hate relationship with this one and I know what I said in my review video. I think I said I didn't recommend it, but honestly, that's the deodorant I've been using lately. Here's why I have a love-hate relationship with it. When I shave, cannot use it. I use like the sensitive formula one. It doesn't do well for me. <laughs> like I just, I cannot use it when I shave. When I don't shave, I have no issues. The Miami Tweet baking soda free deodorant was working really well and I could use it right after I shaved. The Dove one, I'm very sensitive to. Also, another hate side of this relationship is that the actual refill broke off once. I applied zero pressure whatsoever and I've had so many comments in that video saying that my refill thing just broke off. I understand because it happened to me now. It just popped right off the little plastic bit. That's really disappointing. It is one of my favorites because it does work. It doesn't leave any like white deodorant marks on your clothes, which is nice. And it, it does work for odor. It does the job as a deodorant. And in comparison to a lot of the more natural deodorants out there, it's pretty darn good. It's a love-hate relationship. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know. The best I've tried is Meow Meow Tweet, and I do like this Dove one, but the Dove has a lot more problems than the Meow Meow Tweet one. Something to keep in mind, but moving on to number seven. My electric rechargeable lighter. I love this thing. So unfortunately I did buy this on Amazon. I don't know of like a sustainable company that makes rechargeable lighters or if a zero waste shop sells rechargeable lighters, let me know. It's amazing because it can be charged via a USB cable. You just plug it into your wall like you would your smartphone. It's incredible. Um, if you have a candle lover in your life, if you are a candle lover, if you need a lighter, get the rechargeable lighter. It's so great. I highly recommend it. And it is going to last so much longer than a normal lighter. Obviously we have matches, which is okay, but a lighter makes me feel a little bit safer than like being right next to the flame on a match. It's a little terrifying, honestly, for me. And a regular lighter has fuel in it. So once the fuel runs out, you just have to toss this big chunk of plastic and this electric rechargeable lighter can be recharged. I highly recommend it. I've been using it all the time, especially because it's candle season for me where I am just nonstop lighting candles practically every night. Moving on to number eight. 
Claire Paint. I have not talked about them at all on my channel or on any of my socials yet. I just moved into my new place and I have been painting the walls and I discovered Claire Paint online. They are a black woman owned company and they sell zero VOC paint. They are also Green Guard Gold certified. You can still smell the paint a little bit. There's still that paint smell when you're painting, but it is so, so subtle and it goes away after the paint dries. The paint dries a lot faster with this and the formula is great. I had like pretty much no splatter at all when I was painting and I'm like a newbie painter. I don't know what I'm doing. It did so well. It's a super creamy formula. It's really easy to use. It's very beginner friendly. I think I'm gonna make a review of it because spoiler alert, it's good. Let me know, but I have really, really been enjoying this paint. Again, it is so stinking easy to use. Okay, number nine is bamboo paper towels. And I know I might get some people being like, why are you using paper towels? I totally get it. I am someone who is going to say again and again, use a cloth, use a towel, use a rag, instead of a paper towel as much as you can. Bamboo paper towels are a great alternative to normal virgin tree paper towels. Paper towels are handy and nice to have for emergencies. And if you're someone who rarely use paper towels, buy a big pack, keep like one roll and like share it with your friends or family and you can each like pitch in or something. I have a video reviewing three different sustainable bamboo paper towels. So I think they were from Who Gives a Crap, Real, and Cloud Paper. So I'll have that video linked down below and I will have the paper towels linked down below as well. So number 10, this isn't really zero waste. It is sustainable and it is science related. It's freaking vaccines and boosters. We're still in a pandemic, obviously. And I know you might think I'm like being sarcastic and being funny, but like seriously, I'm so glad I have been double vaxxed and I have the COVID booster. Moderna fam, what's up? How's it going? Like. We are in a pandemic. Keep wearing your masks since the Delta variant kind of started and now with Omicron, like I have been wearing KN95 masks. Are they like the sustainable option? No, but I keep reusing them. I'll like wait a week to reuse the same mask and I like go through seven masks all the time and yeah, vaccines are great. I got boosted right before the Thanksgiving holiday. I've been double vaxxed for a while now. Like if you haven't been vaccinated yet, please go get your vaccine. If you need your booster, go get your booster. I am so sick of this pandemic. I am so flipping COVID cautious. Please get vaccinated, get boosted, wear a flipping mask. I'm so over the pandemic. And if you are doing that and you are a super COVID cautious human like I am, thank you. Thank you. Like really, let's like make a COVID cautious club. <laughs> I don't know. Also, I have a Zoom call once every month and we talk about sustainable topics. We've had two so far in December and in November. So we will be having one in January soon. So if you wanna sign up for the Zoom call list, I'll have the link down below in the description. It's super fun. I really have enjoyed meeting you guys. So you will be getting an email when we know about the Zoom call. And yeah, if you guys have any favorite zero waste swaps that you tried this year, let us all know in the comments down below. And thank you for sticking around and being patient with me. And I will see you in the next video. Just remember, you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably and stay tuned for next week. Bye.